Today we think of speaking on Confucius. Confucius was a Chinese philosopher and politician of the spring and autumn period who is traditionally considered the paragon of Chinese sages. Confucius' teachings of philosophy underpin East Asian culture and society remain influential across China and East Asia to this day. Confucius said everything is beauty, <coughs> but not everyone sees it. Everybody knows that one truth and nobody is allowing them to see. That is created the fear among the people. Everybody says they, they were not conscious. When I started thinking that people were not conscious, they were not observant. But basically the consciousness and observant have been hijacked. And they have totally blocked it through the means of a weapon. Not the big weapon which they are demonstrating wearing a miniskirt, the American president and the Russian president. They have whose weapon is the biggest weapon in the world, they are demonstrating and cheating the world to sell the product. Not that one, but this weapon is more dangerous than that weapon. This weapon is the television, the mobile, which non-stop brainwashes people and they hardly get time to look into them to see that they, that they themselves are a beauty, not an outsider. So people keep running. They give salary from once they drag them to become a slave. And when they get the salary outside the office, you can see a lot of stuff being sold. Cars, apartments. Padma was asking me, from where did you coin this word pigeonhole? I said, it's not, I did not create a pigeonhole. It was there, the originality was there. I just discovered the moment the Industrial Revolution came up and people started rushing up to the cities. Apartments came and people started staying in holes. And when they started asking for freedom, the rulers knew what, are, what do they mean by freedom? If I catch them and put them in the jail, I become the bad. So give them their own houses. They created one for the Japanese that does it with the smallest hut, television, all the best things. And people are happy with that. They can work toward the life for the government and for the rich companies. But they wanted a small jail cell. But in that cell, everything should be given. So when that is given, where there is time, like our men and women go to the offices, they can work up to 8 hours, 10 hours, because there is a plan strategy, there is a supervisor, there is a manager, a jail manager to tell them what to do. They do not have to do anything. They will tell them. They are slaves, worse than domestic servants. But when they come back to the house, they have no time. They are very tired. Now they have to think, if they are tired, then they themselves are the cause of the ugliness. Confucius says, everything has got beauty. Yes. Everything, everything what you see. That was the basic Indian philosophy. That everything what people see, whether it is a man or woman, animal or trees, they find God in them. Here the Confucius used beauty, but in India they used it, God. You see a snake, they create a snake in a small, chip it into a snake idol, and they pray. But only one thing is they have not improved from there. They degenerated into that. Like the Zen master pointing the finger to the moon, and let's look at the moon, and all his disciples took the finger, took a picture of the finger and started doing Arjay Puja, thinking that is the moon. Same thing, that has got a connecting link to our gods. They have not moved ahead of that. 
If they moved ahead of that, then they could have been friendly with the snakes. The snake poison is very, very rich. It can feel, fetch a lot of money, but most of the Indian people die of the snake bites because they are not made friendly with this. There is a system. Previous system was the gurus, the temple priests keep telling them not to venture out, not to ask questions, not, not to penetrate deeper. Whatever they said is the gospel of truth. And that stops their growth. That stops them from looking into them. They have to look into others thinking they might be the paths to God. Confucius said everything has got beauty, but not everyone sees it. That when you, you have eyes and you are not able to see, everybody is intelligent. But they are not able to discover the intelligence. Because nobody is allowing, people are thinking that they were not intelligent, they were stupid. So they go to all the gurus, swamiji's to many, many centers to find out how can they be intelligent. They have really discovered that discovery thing was not being given. Today I was discussing with my children and I was telling the Japanese people tells me when they come to India, they see the dogs are becoming very wild, they are barking, which they don't find it in Japan because Everybody goes and talks to the animals, they take care and they, the dogs are very, very friendly. Here they are not friendly. And when I looked into that, I found almost every, everywhere how they treat the dogs. Mahatma Gandhi said, the culture of people are known by the way they treat the animals. It's not about culture of people. From the childhood, children have been beaten. They have not been given and love. They have not been taught anything with love. They have not been taught anything with explanation. Yes. Hence, children also started barking back. They also started living in fear. They do not how to. They do not know how to smile. Everything has been lost. Whatever we give, whatever amount of money we spend on trying to love them, they do not know how to return the love. But I told my children, I see my village dogs, they are very, very aggressive. They chase me, to, uh, try to bite my children and all. So I carry the biscuit. Now whenever my children go to the, to the village, I ask them, please carry doggy biscuit or yes, doggy biscuit. Oh, within very next day you can see the tail wagging, but not the children. The children are still taking time to wag the tail, to allow, to understand. Once they go, once they can understand that they, they have to return back their love, then they can understand that they can look into their beauty. Yes, because every question carries an answer. Hence, children are very, very frightened to go to the uh, examination center because the fear has been already given to them that they will never get an answer. They can twist and turn and make you live in fear, and then the policeman individually will stand to find out that you do not copy. There is no need for an invigilator. Why should they have an invigilator? These children are going there as a beautiful painter. They sit in front of the question till the answer comes out. And a day comes when the painter and the bamboo shoot becomes one. And the painting happens of its own. Answer happens of its own. Such should be the way of the children. No, no. That should not happen. The rulers decided. You should give them one hour, two hours. Hurry, hurry. When they ask for freedom, give them as much things as possible. When they wanted to uh, be intelligent, give them as many books as possible and confuse them in the name of getting big, big salaries. It is destroyed. Confucius said everything is uh, beauty, but not everybody sees it. Yes. To see, you have to be a little conscious. To see, you have to first go back to your family to love your family. Nothing. You do not have to dissect what your wife or husband talks or your children talks. Any sound in the house, take it as a Carnatic music, a Hindustani music. I do not want to call it as gibberish, but let any sound comes. But your duty, your point is to love them, to hug them, to be together because you know together is the strength. Husband needs the wife, positive needs. Negative to create electricity. Yin and the yang only can create a baby. 
a sister and brother, a family and a joint family only can create the family tree. Once they understand that all other things are the drama, then what Confucius said is everything has got beauty. Yes, that's what Ramana Maharshi asked, who am I? That's another way of telling, uh, look into your beauty, into your intelligence. And everybody started sitting in meditation under the tree or under the uh, toilet, I don't know, no? and uh, asking who am I? Madness, you have, you are, you, you, you know who you are, you have your strength, you have to really sweat it out, and then you see, you feel, others all become so simple, yes. Everything becomes very simple when you sweat it, they are not allowing you to sweat it out, allowing you to go to your life, they have disconnected you from a joint family, from a family tree. When you walk into your family tree, it's a huge big club. Now clubs have come up. But those days clubs are your family, joint family and the family tree. And you feel very confident because you go walk in, say, you know, everybody's talking to, to you. You can walk into any place. You feel very healthy. But in another place, in a multi-place complex, you see a lot of strangers. And there you are not creating any, any beauty, Confucius says everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. When you start looking into your strength, your house becomes stronger. When the house becomes stronger, you can find everything becomes simple and soft. And in that softness, you can penetrate anything. When you become and you become like a water, water can penetrate anything and nobody can possess it. That is what Confucius meant, everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. 